for cheap Power World items and boosting services from DigiZanny, stock up on gold, materials and more for Power World. And using discount code HAM for a 5% discount, you can't go wrong. Power World 0.1.5.0 is here. The new update has recently come out in the last couple of days. Along with it, it has patched a couple of things. One thing I am incredibly gutted about. As always, there will be timestamps for all of the glitches in the description down below and along the red line of the video so you can skip to any one that you like or if you come back to the video and you want to look at that specific one, it will be there for you. So today we will be going through 10 of the best glitches in Pal World in the new update. All of these still work and there is a couple of brand new ones in here as well. I hope you enjoy the video. If you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. So as per the screenshot on the screen right now, Tower Boss Capture Glitch has been patched. And apparently, according to them, they didn't even mean to patch it. So that's very frustrating. Obviously, they're not going to redo that because it shouldn't be in the game. So for the first glitch in today's video, it is the infamous duplication glitch. I won't keep you for too long just because it is a very famous one that everyone kind of knows about. But somehow it has survived ever since the game's first release. So all you need to have is any of the materials to build something like this, for example. As you can see on the left hand side, I have 489 refined ingots. 41 circuit boards and 169 nails. We can go ahead and build this right now So if I walk outside of the zone, I have zero of everything So we need to get the fine line of being inside my base and make sure it is buildable And it is blue like so on screen as soon as you build it run out of your base as you can see on screen And then go to cancel it now put everything back in the chest there we go, as you can see, putting it back in. There you go, I've gone up everything on that and it just makes it so easy to duplicate any of the materials that you've got. This works with anything in the build menu as you can see on the screen, it does not matter. I think this glitch is so good and I'm happy it's still in the game. So this next glitch is the butcher glitch. So it's very, very simple to do and it still works after the patch, which is very nice indeed because it saves you just having to go to and from trying to farm and battle the pals around the map, the alpha pals that is. So I can do it with a chill it right now. So you get all of the schematics and everything if you get lucky with some of the pals. I'll show you a list on screen here right now, which would actually enable you to get all of the gold schematics in the game. All you need is a pal that you can mount just like this so you get off them and as you have the meat cleaver in your hand hold down four and butcher. It goes to the second slice and then you get on the mount. Just like that and you'll probably either fall through the floor. If you do that means it hasn't worked unfortunately so you have to just try again. There we go as shown on screen you can see on the left hand side I got the stuff from it so he'll just fall through the floor and then just to get him back you just have to drop like that pick it back up and he's good to go again you'll just have to pretend that my jet dragon is actually an alpha pal I haven't actually got him on me at the moment I accidentally condensed it and I condensed all of the alpha pals into a non alpha pal so I'm very dumb but just imagine that that was an alpha pal and you can get all of the loot from them. It is really, really simple to do. So moving on to this next glitch, this links on straight from the one we just did and it is a really, really good way of beating any of the tower bosses. Now we are here, we just need to get our pal butchered. So what we do is we just butcher the pal and then we make sure we do the glitch like we just did. There we go. So now he is done and he's on the floor. When we bring him back in and then throw it back out, it just falls through the floor. So now we know that is done properly. So we join the boss battle right here. And this is a really strange one. And we run all the way to the back over here. As it sinks, instantly mount and it will float you back up to the floor in front of you. No clipping through that invisible wall. So now we're on the other side of this invisible wall. We are out the back here. We should not be here. You can drop your pal from your party just like so. I have two just in case I need another one. But I can now drop him back down and now ride him. What do you mean by that? So we can now fly all the way up like this. And then we can just move over and then drop back down on top of this pal arena like this. This makes it very easy just to run around the invisible floor as you can see and it can't hit you if you just hide behind the pillars. Now I'm back on him like this I can now just fly away 
and if I fly very far away, just like so, he should actually end up freezing. So to merge back into this, now he is frozen, we can actually hit him with some melee attacks. And then we get the meat cleaver back out, butcher the dragon again, and do exactly the same thing as last time, to no clip into it like this. Bring him back in and he'll fall through. And now we can dismount, and we've now no clipped ourselves back into the area. So now we can just go back in, I can get my sword out, and just start slashing him like this. Look how easy this is. It is sick. There we go. Very, very easy indeed. So in the new update of Pal World 0.1.5.0, the secret room actually still works. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. You now need to travel to the Cinemoth Forest, as you can see on the screen right in the middle there. So we travel to the Cinemoth Forest, and once we load in, I can show you the location of this secret base is down there where that little groove goes into the mountainside. So we will drop down to the floor right here and we can then check on the wall. We just need to get the guy out and we can then go halfway up the wall, pet our mount. There we go. So we can just no clip through the wall, dismount from him right now. There is another wall behind it, pet him again. And there you go, you've no clipped through the wall, just like so. And we can just run down this little path right here. And we have this awesome looking room right here. I think this is really cool. I've had a couple of comments saying that it could be for a future boss, which actually would make sense. It's quite a small area, so I wonder if it's a small boss or if it's just going to be expanded for a bigger boss in the future. Here is the second secret room that you can get in the game. At the moment, it seems that there's only two that have been found. It is similar to the first one I've just shown you right now. If we look at the map, we are exactly at this location, minus 265 and minus 394. When you go into this little area, this little cove, it's right next to the Lift Monk effigy on the wall here. So we need to throw a pal down onto this little mound right here and no clip through the wall, just like we did last time. If he decides to play ball with me, there we go, thank you. Get through the wall like this, dismount. Now we need to do exactly the same, just to pet him again. Let's go through the second one and there we are. Look at this little room here. That is not all, it is this on the right hand side just here where we can get through. We might need to just load, no clip ourselves through here, which might be a bit difficult. But if you have a jet dragon like that, just go shooting through it, easy as, and we can now follow the path down. Pretty big area, pretty decent size for a location for a base. So we can go ahead and build a base in here. Another very, very simple an awesome looking base that does work on dedicated servers. This next glitch up, I'm gonna be showing you how to one shot any of the bosses in Pal World. All you need is an, either an ice type pal, or in this instance, I've managed to do it with one of the ice grenades. So now we are in with the Jetragon, and as you can see, I just throw a couple of the ice grenades down, and then you can have either another grenade or a rocket launcher as shown on screen and you can just shoot him while he is frozen and he will just go flying up in the air. As sometimes it will show, it doesn't take any full damage at all. Don't worry, just do it again and you can shoot him up in the air and it will work this time. And once he drops down, it does 44,000 damage. Well, in this case it did. It is sick. Such a cool little glitch to do. Very, very simple just to farm those schematics and loot. So I would thoroughly recommend this method. It is really, really cool. So here's a glitch that is a great example if you're out and about and you really need some ore very quickly or stone or anything like that. It is very, very easy just to mine it very quickly. So what I can show you is this is the normal mining speed. It's kind of fast, but you can make it even faster. It is very, very simple. So each time you stab forwards, you just crouch, and then when you poke forward again, press C to crouch again, and you stand up, and you repeat that process, you're basically teabagging, and you can show you right here. As you could have seen there, you sometimes miss a poke, but it's still way, way quicker. It is really, really handy, especially if you're out and about and you just need some quick stone or anything like that. As for the final glitch today, we have the infinite money and gold keys glitch. So on the map, we have traveled to this Eastern Wild Island, and we just want to go up and travel all the way over here towards this spike that comes out of the floor. As we get towards it over here, we can see an opening in the cave, and that is where the Black Marketeer will be standing. 
very, very simply, what we can do is, no, 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 we don't want you. What we want to do is just to have the hanging trap. You can unlock this at level four. It is really, really handy to do. Look at that, so we just got that there. We can then place that right under him like this, and he will go shooting up in the air like that. It is so dumb and cool, but at the same time, we can then get a campfire under him, and then start burning him alive, and he will just start frying. I have noticed before that people can actually do this. I'm not sure how you do it, or how you angle it properly. For some reason, it doesn't seem to work for me. But if you can let me know down in the comments, that would be much appreciated. Yeah, look at that. It just doesn't work. I'm not sure why, but from here onwards, you can then just go ahead and start smacking him like a piñata. There we go. And he'll just go down and down and down. We can now go ahead and pick up the gold coins and the keys. And then, as you can see, obviously, he's not here. So we just throw the Jack Dragon down, turn around, pass this rock part here, and then just go all the way back to this area right here, and then I'm going to let my stamina regen, and now we fly straight back, and he should be spawned in, and we can do this method over and over and over again. There he is. Hello, mate. So yeah, that is a really, really good way of getting free money and gold keys in Power World. Yeah, that's why you need it, because he is pretty damn strong. But anyway, that about sums up the video. If you made it this far, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much, and goodbye.